Hello, everyone. Please run here again, and welcome to the Toho 7 Perfect Cherry Blossom. And joining me in this call is the one who got me into the Toho series. You care to introduce yourself? Hey, Samus. Rising. And this is your favorite in this series. Yes. As well as the first yes, you yes. played. It's... Yes, it is also the first I played. Yeah, me basic. And it's my favorite because Chen. Yeah, they'll find who that is later. Hey, basics of the me menu: your start, four difficulties, and why did I hit X? Four and this time three playable characters. There is the Shrine Maid Rimu, the Magician Marissa, and the Maid Sakia, who was the fifth boss in the sixth game. And, Saki is fun. Yep. And unlike the sixth game, I actually unlocked extra. Which is brutally hard. Yet there's something harder than extra that's only in this game. Would you care to explain it and how you unlock it? Yeah, uh, you You it's called Phantasm Stage. And it's really hard. <laughs> yeah, but how do you unlock it? Spell cards. Yes, capture 50 spell cards and beat extra. Wait, 50. 60. Why'd I say 50? Hey, practice is the same. Beating extra is hard enough. <laughs> yes, it is. Practice is the same, replay is the same, results the same, music room is the same, and options has this new addition slow mode. Which basically slows yeah. down uh, the, uh, the game when there's too many bolts on screen and makes it easier. Downside is you may get thrown off by patterns because they're moving slow, and of course you won't be able to score. But with all that explained, we're actually going to get started right now. And unlike what you saw in the preview, I'm actually not going to be playing as Rimu. I'm actually going to be playing as Sakuya using Type A, which is homing knives. Because Sakia is awesome. <laughs> yep. That's kind of my thing. I've always played as characters that are better than you know, Rimu. And that, if there's no one better than her, then I just use her homing shots. Hey. Basics of every Toho game X is to shoot. No, Z is to shoot, I meant. X is to bomb, arrow case to move, and shift to focus. Reds are your power-up items. Blue are for points. And these new I ones you see here are cherry blossoms. Since you know about the game, do you care to explain what the cherry blossoms do? Uh, I believe, if I remember right, when you get enough, it makes the supernatural board. Yep, that's pretty much correct. And we've already been the first mid boss, which I forgot to say who it was, but you already know her. It's Cerno, the second boss from the sixth game. This, the boss of this area is Letty. I don't get why she is a boss, like, why she's opposing you or anything. She kind of goes up and is like, I'm gonna fight you. Yeah, and here she comes, Letty White Rock of Winter Yokai. Since I forgot to explain the sixth game, Yokai are basically supernatural creatures such as demons, vampires, ghosts, and such. Letty's overall pretty easy, and interesting story here. When my brother first played this on easy, he died to Letty. And had to use a continue. No, he didn't use it. He yeah. just quitted. That's pretty sad. At least easy. Yep. Anyway, this is her first spell card here. Lingering cold. Pretty easy spell card. Yep. Everything she does is easy, unless you're in lunatic mode. Then it's all. Then it's somewhat difficult, but not as difficult as most things in lunatic mode. Yep. I honestly did this on practice mode on hard once, and to be honest, Letty was still easy. 
Heck, I'd probably say Cerno was more of a threat than her. And right here's the he, right here's the supernatural border, which will protect you for only one hit. And it lasts for only a set amount of time. Yep. However, if you cannot get hit in the time it's out, you get a huge boost to your points. That is correct. This comes into terms of why people say this game's very player friendly. Because of the border and also the fact that you can actually get the good ending on easy difficulty. Wait. Also, they added in the enemy indicator at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, since you mentioned it, do you care to explain it? Uh, it shows, if you're fighting a boss, it shows where the boss is if you're looking down at the bottom of the screen, like if your character's down more, so that you can pay attention to where you should be if you're shooting with Marissa or someone else who doesn't have a homing attack. Yeah, it's pretty much useless as Sakuya, because... Yeah, because with Sakuya you just go focus, it homes down on you. Unless you're using Type B. Yep. It's really useful for Type B Sakuya, because you can be on the other side of the screen. And, and here comes it. your favorite character! Shen! Kitty! Oh boy. Anna, you want to explain about Chen? Uh, she is a cat Shikigami. And we're already on her first spell card as a mid boss. Uh, her first one, she makes a bunch of circles of stuff and throws them at you. And I forget her second one. That was just her first one as a mid boss. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Um, but she gets her, as a Shikigami, she gets her power from her the person over her, who is another Shikigami. Yep, you'll find out who that person is whenever we go to extra. Yep. Cause I still need to beat it cause trust me, that person is hard. Yep. And uh... She is supposedly very young. Yep, and we're already at also, her again. You found her again? Yep, this time I'm gonna actually fight her. As a full boss. Yay. And while the sixth game is has my some of my favorite songs in the series, I can't deny that uh, this has a very n good soundtrack as well. In fact, all the songs in Toho are good. There's not. That is a uh, that Ye song is awesome. Oh boy! Oh. Oh. Don't get hit by Chen. <laughs> Not going to. I will be upset if you get hit by Chen. I didn't. Good. It's a lot easier for me to play in full screen mode than windowed mode. Ciao! Oh boy, but this spell card I pretty much don't like him a lot. Immortals, immortals, immortal, immortal sages rumbling. I love that spell card, it's so awesome! It's because these little white things always sometimes hit me! I can't believe I panicked! Did you get hit by it? Nope. I panicked and used a bomb. But at least I didn't get hit. Yeah. That's the bright side. Did you capture that spell card? I already captured it two times. Only two times? At least on normal. I captured it like a lot. It's, a, it's one of my favorite spell cards. It's fun. You just Chen just goes wee. Oh no. Wee. I'm probably gonna get. I got cornered. This is probably gonna be a curse that uh, the second bosses always land one hit, but. 
As long as I don't lose too many lives, I'm still good.